The U.S. Army is the most powerful in the world, with lots of impressive and advanced military machines. So today we'll explore 10 amazing military land vehicles in their arsenal that dominate the battlefield. This isn't a ranking of the best American machines. We've already made one, so if you missed it, here's the link to the video. Today we'll just showcase 10 really powerful military vehicles. And we don't want Abrams. The M1 Abrams is a formidable third-generation American main battle tank that first rolled into service in 1980. Developed by Chrysler Defense and named after General Crichton Abrams, this tank is known for its impressive power and advanced technology. Weighing nearly 73.6 short tons, it stands as one of the heaviest tanks in operation. The M1 Abrams features a multi-fuel turbine engine, Chobham composite armor, and a sophisticated computer fire control system. It initially came with a 105 mm gun, but later models are equipped with a 120 mm gun, reflecting its evolution over time. Designed to succeed the older M60 tank, the M1 Abrams has gone through several upgrades, including the M1A1 and M1A2 variants, enhancing its firepower, protection, and electronics. Although the XM1 Tow 2 mounted combat system was intended to replace it, that project was canceled, leading the U.S. Army to continue upgrading and maintaining the Abrams. M2 Bradley the M2 Bradley, also known as the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, is a key component of the U.S. Army's armored forces. Manufactured by BAE Systems Land and Armaments and entering service in 1983, the Bradley is built for both reconnaissance and transporting infantry. It can carry up to six soldiers, along with a crew of three, a commander, a gunner, and a driver. Designed to protect its passengers from small arms fire while delivering substantial firepower, the Bradley is highly maneuverable, enabling it to keep pace with heavy tanks in combat. With a total program cost of around $566 billion for one or 602 units in the year 2000, each M2 Bradley had an average cost of about $3.17 million, or approximately $4.12 million when adjusted for 2022 inflation. Its role and capabilities have made it a vital asset for the U.S. Army, supporting infantry operations with both protection and firepower. Striker. The Striker is a versatile family of wheeled armored vehicles used by the U.S. Army, designed to enhance mobility and protection, capable of reaching speeds over 60 miles per hour and covering more than 300 miles on just 53 gallons of fuel, the Striker combines speed and endurance with robust armor protection. It carries a nine-man infantry squad and features a remote weapon station equipped with either an M2.50 caliber machine gun or an MK19, a 40 mm grenade launcher. The vehicle is built to excel in both urban and open terrain, providing comprehensive protection against threats such as 14 mm projectiles and 150 mm artillery airbursts, with optional upgrades for additional protection against rocket-propelled grenades. Its design emphasizes performance and commonality, which helps reduce logistics and sustainment costs. M113 APC The M113 Armored Personnel Carrier is a fully tracked vehicle developed by FMC Corporation, first introduced to the U.S. Army in 1961. It was notably used in the Vietnam War, where it became a key asset for breaking through dense jungle and attacking enemy positions. The M113 was the first mass-produced combat vehicle with an aluminum hull, making it lighter and more transportable compared to its predecessors, while still providing protection against small arms fire. Designed to be air transportable and moderately amphibious, the M113's versatility led to numerous adaptations, including roles as an armored ambulance, mortar carrier, and command vehicle. Although it has been replaced in frontline combat by the M2 and M3 Bradleys, the M113 remains widely used in support roles. With over 80,000 units produced and used by over 50 countries, it is one of the most widely employed armored fighting vehicles ever made. M109 Paladin 
The M109 Paladin is an American self-propelled howitzer equipped with a 155mm millimeter cannon, introduced in the early 1960s as a successor to the M44. Known for its role as a key indirect fire support weapon in Western armored and mechanized infantry brigades, the M109 has undergone several upgrades, with the latest variant being the M109A7. This artillery vehicle operates with a crew of four, a section chief commander, a driver, a gunner, and an ammunition handler, Sherloader. The gunner and chief coordinate to aim the cannon both horizontally and vertically, enabling precise fire support. While the British Army has replaced its M109s with the AS-90, and several European countries are transitioning to newer systems like the German Pisa H2000, the M109A6, also known as the Paladin, continues to serve as the primary self-propelled howitzer for the U.S. Army. Um, error app. Mine-resistant ambush, protected vehicles are specialized light tactical vehicles designed by the U.S. military to withstand improvised explosive device attacks and ambushes. Initiated in 2007 in response to the rising IED threat during the Iraq War, the MRAP program resulted in the deployment of over 12,000 vehicles by 2012, significantly enhancing protection for troops in conflict zones like Iraq and Afghanistan. MR apps are characterized by their V-shaped hulls, which are engineered to deflect blasts away from the vehicle and its occupants. However, their high center of gravity can make them prone to rolling over, a notable drawback highlighted in some safety studies. Production of the original MR app vehicles concluded in 2012, and the program evolved with the introduction of the Oshkosh MATV and later the Oshkosh LATV, designed to be a lighter, mine-resistant alternative to the Humvee and to complement existing MR apps. Humvee, the high-mobility, multi-purpose wheeled vehicle, commonly known as the Humvee, is a versatile military truck produced by AM General. Introduced in the early 1980s, the Humvee replaced older vehicles like the M151 Jeep and the M561 Gamma Goat, filling various roles from transport to medical evacuation. The Humvee gained prominence during the Gulf War in 1991, where its adaptability to desert terrain was evident. However, its original unarmored design proved vulnerable to improvised explosive devices in the Iraq War. In response, the U.S. military quickly uparmored some models and later replaced many frontline units with mine-resistant ambush protected vehicles. By 2015, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle Program selected the Oshkosh LATV to succeed the Humvee in frontline service. Despite this, the Humvee remains in use with various military and civilian organizations around the world, showcasing its enduring utility and influence. M270 MLRS the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System is a powerful American self-propelled artillery system designed to launch multiple rockets in rapid succession. Introduced in 1983, the M270 is based on the chassis of the Bradley Fighting Vehicle, providing it with a robust and reliable platform. It first saw combat in the 1991 Gulf War and has been adopted by various NATO and non-NATO forces. The M270 MLRS is known for its versatility and firepower, equipped to launch both unguided and guided missiles. It includes two main components, the M269 Launcher Loader Module, which contains the fire control system, and the M993 Carrier Vehicle, a modified Bradley chassis that has been lengthened to accommodate the rocket system. The N993 serves as the mobile base for the MLRS, enhancing its operational flexibility, JLTV, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, also known as the Oshkosh LATV, is a versatile light utility and combat vehicle developed to replace the high-mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicle. The JLTV was selected in August 2015 to address the need for improved protection and mobility, providing a balance of safety and maneuverability that earlier vehicles, like up-armored HMMMWVs, could not fully achieve. Designed to offer protection comparable to that of heavier, mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, the JLTV aims to deliver robust defense against blasts and ambushes while remaining highly maneuverable. The first delivery of JLTVs occurred in March 2016, with the U.S. Army initially ordering 657 units.
The projected requirements as of January 2022 include approximately 49,000 units for the Army, 12,500 for the Marine Corps, 2,000 for the Air Force, and about 400 for the Navy. The JLTV reached initial operating capability with the Marine Corps in 2019. M9ACE The M9 Armored Combat Earth Mover is a versatile, tracked vehicle used by the U.S. Marine Corps and Army to support combat engineering tasks. Designed to aid frontline forces, the M9 excels in eliminating obstacles, maintaining and repairing roads, and constructing fighting positions. It combines features of an armored vehicle with those of an earth mover, making it essential for tasks such as route clearance, obstacle preparation, and waste management. During Operation Desert Storm, the M9 ACE demonstrated its effectiveness by keeping pace with maneuver units thanks to its ability to fold its blade for travel. This feature allowed it to traverse rough terrain as quickly as an M1 Abrams or M2 Bradley, though it is limited to about 30 fine marmish on improved roads. While the vehicle's blade can be locked manually for high-speed travel, this can reduce its combat efficiency if not managed carefully. Thanks for watching our in-depth look at some of the most formidable military vehicles in the U.S. arsenal. From the powerful M1 Abrams tank to the versatile M9 Armored Combat Earth Mover, these machines showcase the incredible engineering and strategic thinking that go into modern military technology. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, Stay safe and always stay curious.